Well, hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Rooster here in Tennessee looking at a uh, real nice little amp today. Palomar 225, and uh, it's in really good shape. It is for sale. Um, a lot of people like these blue Palomars better um, because for the most part, I believe they come with automatic sideband delay. This one does have automatic sideband delay. They're low, medium, and high. Come included with a preamp, which the preamp does function on this one. And uh, they're just really nice amps. Uh, a lot of people look at the Palomars and they look at the later ones as kind of generics and look at the earlier ones. Uh, the blue Palomars is kind of the real deal uh, Palomar. Uh, they all about the same to me, uh, honestly. Uh, they're real simple amps, um, but these are, these are really tough, good performers, and uh, I like them a lot myself. This one is for sale. Uh, there's a gentleman that is supposed to be getting it from me. Uh, he assured me that if I posted a video of it working that he would buy it. Um, but I will I'll keep that updated in the comments. Um, I'll give him a day or so to, to get it. And uh, if he doesn't come through on it, it will be, uh, it will be up for sale. But uh, I'll, like I said, I'll keep that updated in the comments and, and let you guys know if it sells. But we're going to do a test on it. Um, low, medium, and high go just in that order. All the way to the left is low, in the middle is medium, to the right is high. Now a lot of these amps, if you guys have owned them, you usually know that high is in the middle, um, and then it, it's low, high, and then medium on the right. But uh, on this little Palomar, it does go in the order that it should. It's low, medium, and then high. We'll test it on bird average on high, and then we're gonna test uh, it on peak with uh, low, medium, and high. And what we're driving it with is this Cobra 29 done up by Gump. Um, on the Bird 43P over here, it does about 35 to 38 watts. It's got a stock final in it. Uh, it does pretty good. And uh, it's also pending sold, but uh, that's what we're going to be driving into this Palomar. And uh, that's about what I'd recommend driving into it. Uh, some people are going to say, oh, it's too much. It's way too much. Um, Honestly, I don't think you'll ever have any trouble driving just a, a single final radio into uh, one of these. And then some people may say that's not enough, but that's about what I recommend. Uh, I would say absolute max, no more than 40 watts peak and about two and a half watts of a uh, dead key going in. Uh, but ideally about 30 to 35 watts peak and you'll be fine. Uh, let's test it on average, 500 watt slug. We are on high. We're looking at the middle scale. Audio. Audio. 90 to 100 watts average. Let's turn our uh, peak kit on. Of course, we're using a Bird 43P. And we're still looking at the middle scale. Nothing changes. Same slug. Audio. about 250 260 watts go to medium oh 200 on the money we'll go to low oh about 50 or 60 watts on low <laughs> anyway guys that's it Palomar 225, uh, again, uh, any interest in this or uh, anything else you see I have listed, text me at 423-299-3535. And again, this one will be pinned and sold uh, for at least a day. I'll give the gentleman at least a day or two to, to get with me on it. But uh, if it doesn't sell uh, by then, it will be uh, first come, first serve. Hope you guys have a good day and uh, catch you on the band. Hope you all enjoy the hobby. See you, bye.